Alright, first of all, I want to say greetings. Came out to set up a training session with a long-time training partner of mine. What's up? How you doing? Joseph Rivera here. Yeah. And what we're doing here is, is a process of... He's one of my better practitioners. Uh, he's been with me for a minute. And his consistency made me want to help him do something else other than just learn 52. And that is... Control my eating habits. Uh, cut down in my body frame. As well as prolong my life so I can be around my daughter and my wife. See, because basically what we're trying to do here is not just promote 52, but wealth through health management. And that's what the fitness aspect is. And so each member that trains also has to learn elements of fitness so that they can share to other people that they're working with. Because it's not just about fighting or self-preservation as we call it. It's also about self-preservation, taking care of yourself. So, Ray, give me a little bit about yourself, man. Well, like I said, my name is Joseph Rivera. My friends and associates know me as Raven. I've been studying martial arts since I was eight years old under Professor C. Hook. From him, I went to Sandan uh, Williams, Third, uh, Third Avenue Red Door Dojo. Studied Shotokan for a year and a half. From there, I was under Lord Utmos, studying uh, traditional Gojuru as well as Gojutsu and other forms of weapons. Then I was blessed by being taken under the wing of Rico Guy, and he showed me how to train and teach calmer, more relaxed. And he taught me how to do kades and be more fluent with my body size so that when someone saw me on the floor whether i was sparring fighting or doing kata they didn't see my weight they saw a person being very elegant and very very fluent with every movement that they did from there i went to usa goju under tom hayward and um Renchi julio rodriguez in the usa goju two years ago i received my black belt in uh, the u.s form of uh, Gojo. Okay, so how did you come by uh, Constellation? Constellation, um, I was really hungry, looking for something more, sparring and cottage and stuff like that. Just the three-point fighting just wasn't doing it for me. I was formerly, I used to do underground fighting, and I was hungry for that full contact, that that one-on-one -on -one type of attitude. And a friend of mine, uh, Alberto Perez, he was already studying 52s, and he had spoken to me about it, and he seemed very, just the energy level and everything on how he spoke about the training, about Daniel, and about even the whole group as, as a whole, like, that it was a family, that we, everybody stayed together, everybody worked together, and everybody tried to keep it going, and, you know, it, it, it raised an interest, so I went. I saw a class. <laughs> I saw. Uh, to here. Mm -hmm. Say hi and put your coat hi. back on. Now get out of the camera. Go ahead. I saw a class. I saw the way uh, Daniel was teaching and how, even though there was twelve people on the floor, he still gave the each individual time to every person, and he saw how, how not you know even though the drill the drill that they were doing was a jab, cross, and a hook. Everybody didn't do the same exact movement. Either they were their timing was off with the jab, or they didn't get the cross and they were just throwing a straight punch. He saw each individual, not gonna say mess up, but where they were losing it. And he corrected that and worked with them individually. And I really appreciate seeing that because in most karate schools, Everything is done in a whole, and people get lost, you know, and things don't get correct as soon as they need it to be correct, you know. And with Daniel, he was just like, you know what, this is how I do it. Let me show you, let me help you show you how your body does it. Because with Daniel, everything is not, you can't do it like me. You have to learn how to do it like you. I'm not here to teach you how to fight. You already know how to fight. I'm teaching you how your body moves and what's teaching you how to learn your own rhythm. You know, and that's one of the things about the 52s that I really enjoy because it's a rhythm. 
It's not teaching me to punch, block, and then throw a kick. It's teaching me to move, how to stay, how to slip, you know, throw up the shields, bring up the towers, and set and everything, you know. That's a completely different concept because there's no structure to this. This is how your body's moving, where your body's setting it up, how your body's coming in and putting it in. You know, it's where your body's moving natural. There's no blueprint, there's no diagram, you know, and, and that's one of the things that I see a lot of people are teaching to, to bring their hands out and come here and do this, and that's some 12-year-old slap boxing, stuff that they did, you know, when they were in a schoolyard, and that's not effective in the street. Effective in the street is when you're able to come in and knock them out, hit them one time. You're not here to play and dance. For that, you join a ballet theater, you know? So it's just, Daniel just made you want to learn. He made you hungry. Okay. You know? And from day one, it's a constant contact. It's a constant give and take situation, you know? Even when we were doing the drills, he was hitting me back. He was pushing me. He was making me push him, you know? And then... From day one, he put me right in the circle. He put me in the square because he wanted to make sure that this was for me. That I was going to be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with another person, regardless how many years he might have on me in this system. And I was able to stand there and either take the hit or give the hit. You know? Because that's one thing about with Constellation. It's, it's not learning how to tap somebody. You got to learn how to give that to somebody. But at the same time, not everybody's going to be able to hold it when they get it back. And that's the other thing that Daniel teaches you. He teaches you how to stand your, your ground and hold that hip. Uh, taking a picture from the square. Just wanted to step back and catch this whole area we're standing in. That's how we get it in. No bigger than that. 